Sixth degree of freedom object pose estimation refers to the task of estimating objects' position and orientation. This task is important both for augmented reality and robotics. The typical solution for this problem is as follows. First, we use the specialized equipment to capture the object's texture mesh. Then, training data is generated by aligning the texture mesh to real photos or by rendering the mesh using computer graphics. Finally, we train a neural network to estimate the pose for each object. The goal of our project is to simplify this process by replacing the first two steps with pictures taken using a simple color camera. This step is cheaper and more scalable than scanning with a specialized equipment. To achieve this, we propose to use neural radiance fields or NERV to create a differentiable renderer of the object or scene. And as we will show, inverting a NERV will allow us to perform post estimation. NERV performs reconstruction by taking in a set of images and the corresponding ground truth camera poses. First, it emits rays through pixels on an image plane. Along the rays, a set of points are sampled for use as input to the neural network F theta, which outputs a set of densities and color. These values are then used to approximate the color of pixels using volume rendering. The render pixel are compared with the given images to compute the loss, and the gradients of the loss is backpropagated to update the neural network. After training, NERF is able to synthesize consistent novel views, as shown in the video here. In this paper, we present iNERF, a framework that performs post estimation by inverting a trained NERF. Different from NERF, we start from an estimated camera pose, and our goal is to iteratively refine the pose. Following the similar rendering procedure to compute the loss with the observed image, iNERF instead propagates the gradients to the estimated pose. After it's completed, iNERF is able to recover the correct camera poses by aligning the render and observed images. Here, we show four examples to illustrate the process. To better compare NERF and iNERF, we note that NERF takes as input the camera pose and outputs an image, while iNERF takes an image as the input and estimates its camera pose. Here we show iNERF in action. It is used to reduce the rotation error from 45 degrees to almost zero. For NERF, Rendering a pixel requires multiple evaluations of the neural network. Therefore, it's slow for iNERV to backpropagate the loss from all the pixels. However, sampling pixels randomly is inefficient. We propose to sample at regions around interest points which improve iNERV's efficiency and robustness. Here we show that sampling around interest points allow us to recover from the error, whereas random sampling struggles. We also evaluate iNERF on LIMOD, a popular object post estimation benchmark. First, we train neural radiance fields on LIMOD objects with synthetic data. Then we apply iNERF to estimate these objects' poses in the real photos, which are masked by the predictions of the segmentation model. We show the L1 norm between the render and observed images. The more colorful the images, the higher the error. We can see that the area of the colorful regions decreases during the iNERF refinement. Finally, we also explore using iNERF to generate pseudo post label for training NERF. Our experiments showed that by only using 50% of the camera post labels, NERF models trained with the pseudo labels generated by iNERF achieve better rendering quality and PSNR scores.